Just think of how insane this is. Nigeria, which was the number one producer of palm oil in the world in the 60s, we had, we were controlling over 28% of the global market for palm oil. Today we are at zero. We are importing crude palm oil. As you travel down the southern part of Nigeria, you will be amazed at the vast mangrove and palm plantation that exists in this region. There are hundreds of large palm plantation estates such as the Ada farms in Imo state and Aqua farms in Akwaibom state. We have palm oil used to be mined in large quantity for export in the 60s and 70s. Besides Nigeria being the world largest exporter of palm oil in the 60s, the story out there is that the world's second largest producer of palm oil today, that is Malaysia, got its palm fruit seedling from Aqua Palm through the Nigeria Institute for Oil Palm Research, NIMFU. Malaysia came to Nigeria in the 60s and got the oil palm seedlings from NIFO there in Benin and took it to Malaysia. Malaysia makes roughly $18 billion a year on palm oil and all of its derivatives. Nigeria is importing crude palm oil from Malaysia and Indonesia. That is insane. That tells you that, you know, we, there are certain things that, you know, you look at and actually you must feel very ashamed about. I feel very ashamed about that. Today, we'll take a trip to a local community to learn a bit more on how palm oil and palm kane oil is processed and done in the southern part of Nigeria. So you can see here we are inside the forest, inside the bush. <laughs> and I will document this process for you guys to see. So this is actually the first step. So the first step is for the owners of the uh, palm to actually cut out uh, the palm fruit. So when all of this palm fruit is cut out, then we move to the ne second step. That's it. That's it. Now it's coming. Whoa. Okay. That's an only one, Dedio. See what well, we cut out now. You can see the man is picking out the ones that fell over as well. Oh, this is agri. We have two type of agri species. Uh, I think he will cut this on the aqua or something. Yeah, uh, this one is aqua When the palm is a long one, the people usually climb it with a rope around their waist. After the palm fruit has been harvested, the next step is to plug out the palm fruit by cutting it out with a knife. After the cutting and separating the palm fruit, the palm fruit are then boiled to soften it which usually takes around 2 to 3 hours. After the boiling, the palm fruits are added to a grinding machine. After which it is added to a presser to squeeze out the oil. This is usually done manually and is like one of the most difficult parts of the process. Now you have your red oil ready which is now packaged for sales. Due to the traditional way of extracting oil according to the statistics released by PIN, only about 50% of the palm oil is extracted, which is very inefficient. PIN statistics also show that smallhold farmers contribute about 80% of palm oil and palm kane oil produced in Nigeria. And according to the statistics also, women are mostly involved in palm oil production and the marketing, while young men are involved in the mining process. Okay, how long now they do this business? I've been doing this business for five years now. Five years. Uh, hey, tell me your name. Agbo. Agbo. Yeah. From this community? Uh, I'm indigenous of this community. Indigenous of this community. What do you mean the community name? Okay. Okay. All right, so which kind of challenge are they face for you? Personally, you, which kind of challenge you they face for your now business? Now the, the head presser, where they press 
Okay, this very one. Yes. Okay, that's the main. This is another system. We need more systems, yes. not our. Okay, this is like the level. old manual way. Yes. So you need like a new. New one. So when you say you need, what do you need? You need the machine or you need the money? Which one? Because that's two different things. I need, I need loan so that you know, so buy you more material. To buy more material. You know, so this uh, business way is so. Mm. You need to do it on your own. I don't need somebody who will call the bring and bring come give me say like this. I don't feel manager. Mm. But when I they work with my own uh, uh, things, mm. uh, I know how to go. Even I want eat the money. I will know how to eat the money. Uh, but what I want to ask you now, you say you, say you need machine now. Yes. So you go get new machine, they market already, the way if you buy. New machine. Or you go there interested if we bring new machine, come entirely. I go there interested now. Okay, that's, that's the question I'm asking. Uh, okay. To assist with the traditional processing method, Nifo developed a small processing machine for smallhold mines. However, it seems that the adoption rate is very low. After the production of the palm oil, the kernel is separated from the chaff. The kernel then undergoes another processing to extract palm kernel oil, PKO. To process the kernel oil, the kernel has shifted from the chaff, after which the kernel is then grinded to break the shell. The grinded shells are then mixed on a mud water to help separate the kernel from the chaff. I mean, can you explain to us what you are doing, Anne? How you are doing this? I wash kernel. Okay, I wash the kernel. Mm. Okay, so you use the mud to wash it. Mm. What's the process? <laughs> okay. Na mod. Okay. 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 Put it in water. Allow it to soak for some minutes. Okay. Then now dissolve it. Turn to water. Turn to water. Okay. Okay, that's the water there. Oh, wow. So now switch. Mm -hmm. The one that they have uh, already. Okay. Put it to fire the water. Okay. The shaft of the tenant will sink down. The shaft. Okay. It will go down. Okay. It will come up. Okay. To remove this cannon now. Mm -hmm. uh, now you know that this uh, okay. this uh, banga mud yes. has no, no bad effect. Yes. And there's no one that we are throwing. Both wow. This strong candle, the sharp itself. The sharp itself. Okay. Yeah, what do you do with it? Other people use it for. Can use it for firewood. Firewood and, and use it like use cement. To. Use it to cement area. Mix it with cement for pouring. Oh, for oh really? Pouring. Yeah. Wow. And you still use it in the same boiling of uh, the the. Cooking of food and uh, cooking of pan oil. Oh. Like the after itself. washing the candle, when you okay. remove the uh, nut, mm -hmm. the this and then the chaff itself is. This is the channel I'm Okay. That we are removing there. This is the channel I'm oh. This is the I'm seeing I'm seeing Canada. Hey, you can see it. It's not a Okay. Okay. But you've already removed the canal itself. Oh, wow. So when you're done, so what do you now do? You sell this? You sell the canal. How do you, you have a market where you sell it or? The person who bring what? The person that bring the kene, the person that they are people here yeah, that okay. bring the kene, the person that bring the kene, the person that bring the kene. Eh, okay. So you play like laborers doing the work? No, this one is our own personal kene. Okay. Personal. But it's like it's... Somebody that crack it, somebody mm. that will buy it. The person that will buy it. It's they okay. Oh, I see. 1,000 per wash on. <laughs> are you adding money or are you reducing? He has added money. <laughs> this is my friend likes to add money. <laughs> are you adding money? Ah. So, madam, like, how much can you make from this in the month on average? I'm selling or selling. Washing. Selling. Selling. Yes. No, due to the quantity of kennel okay. you have, you know you have 50 washing hands. If your kennel is much, after breaking it, okay. 
after breaking and processing it when washing it mm. some people have like 160 washan mm. some people 200 washan okay and I both. so 150 washan 200 washan how much is that uh, but the more wash and the more money. The more the wash and the more the money increase. The money only increase. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But people that wash it too, like they make their own money too, right? Yeah, you should pay them. Like if you want to collect them. No, I need to come out too. I think the current person come and go. Okay. Oh, really? But it's like it's only women that are mostly involved in this. I will come and tell them. It's not a women in business. Yes, but boys are also washing. Really? Boys wash or they do machine work? They wash. Oh. Okay. Well, is there no way to? Is there no better way to do this? Why use the mud? Why must it be mud? Yeah. So what if we we'll teach you? What if we we'll teach you a new way to do it? Will you be willing to learn? But I heard that some people normally use running engine. So you will buy us a engine that will grind and select. Yes. And the chaff will be different. Different. Be be different. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, if you bring that for us, we'll be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. But won't that make you lose job? Because that means if we build that, for instance, here. Yeah, they lose job. No. Uh, because that means you'll be washing again now. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. It's alright. Thank you very much for your time. The separated cannon are then grinded to produce the oil. This is how the oil now looks after production. This is the oil that food processing company actually buy and process further to produce noodles, biscuit, vegetable oil, among others. While surfing through the internet, sometimes I come across a video saying that oil is not good for your health. The question is which oil? The palm kernel oil or the red oil known as the palm oil? It is important to distinguish among the two because many times people are referring to the palm kernel oil which is over processed and used in production of various confectionaries and food and not the red oil which is actually very good for your health and is being used for cooking. There are so many challenges associated with the production of palm oil and palm kernel oil in Nigeria. Nevertheless, the business seems to be very lucrative and a source of major income for many families and women in the southern part of Nigeria. But well, you don't tap Pami from pamphlet. No? Pami, Pami no, we is different. Pami. For our culture, yeah, we bring Pami from the pamphlet. Really? Yeah, okay. It's our duty. Good afternoon, ma. I think it's different. I think the I thought the the palmy palm palm uh, tree is different from no palm kernel. This is what that we bring palmy after we fell it down. Okay, after you fold this thing down. Yeah, you, fell you bring it down. out. We, we it. Okay. We give a very nice pruning. We move all the dirty. Okay. From the dirty, all the white. Okay. As, as from white, mm -hmm. we keep tapping it, tapping it with a knife. With okay. Glass. Okay. Tapping and fermenting. Mm -hmm. After fermenting it. We can boil it, we get it to Ogogoro. Really? Yes. Ah. <laughs> it's amazing the kind of things you can learn when you come to a local community. <laughs> I hope you'll be able to learn one or two things from those videos and also to see how life is being lived on the other side of the world. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and be a part of this community. Share it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.